Well, I said I'd do another stupid video on some stupid thing. Like I did yesterday, an hour long. Kind of like a weird history channel and adventure, but I'll talk today. Again on something, I suppose. <laughs> Why not, you know? Sort of carry on. Stay there, don't fall over. So, uh, talking about the eBay, of course, you now what are we talking about now, hmm? Somebody wanted to talk about parapsychology adventures? Sure, I'd love to cover that topic. I'd have to make a list up of the different things. Ed Dames remote viewing, CIA's turned it over to CIA people. So we're having fun with that now. Parapsychological events, lots of them. I'm not cover that. The people I know that I got involved with over the years. Hmm. Who are into that? Or studied? Not your average dingbat that makes up stories about it. A lot of people don't know what they're talking about on YouTube. Or this fake stuff. Uh huh. Jeez. Oh, well. It's all politi politics that's flying around all over the place, huh? So they're going to... Uh, um, somebody mentioned about speech and the internet and social media. Oh, it should be controls and all that. Uh-oh. Because amendment number one... Number two, they want to take away all of assault rifles. Um, and then number two, and number one, freedom of speech. No. That's the problem with these politicians. They don't know how to really address issues. Seriously. Oh, take away the guns. Yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem. Take them away. You know, the crime will disappear. Pure, me they need mental health at the <laughs> They need mental health help. When you think, what's that going to do? See all the other characters running rooms, rubbing their hands. Now we got a market for stuff, you know? I'm sure of it. Guaranteed. Never works. As far as the Facebook stuff and Twitter or whatever you call it, Supposed to be controlled? I don't know. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So I'll say that Donald, Donald J. Trump is a psychopathic, lying, slimy piece of shit who wants to control everybody and create a dictatorship. God, I don't know how people can um, consider him with all his criminal records. Holy shit. Excuse my language, but wow. Plus, his ideas are atrocious. Welcome to Adolf Hitler the second, I'm sure. Us little plebes will be lined up and put in concentration camps. So well, he wants to do that with a population of like 20 million. Yeah, real psychopath, a real Adolf Hitler. As I was talking yesterday about countries and that, someday, 100 years from now, come and go. All the screaming and yelling and bitching and complaining, it doesn't mean anything, it's just a bunch of audio frequencies running out to people's ears and through internet and through broadcast to their ears. Huh. So little crazy people like me will be for the concentration quack camp. Well, I do act silly like this. I eat vitamins every day. 
work out every day too with lifting thingy, moving thingy. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, what am I dragging here? Something? Cord or something? Hmm. Wow, that's no fun. I'm acting silly. That's okay. Got another sense of humor, I got actually, and whatever, you know. That can't be a long video because I got some work to do. And I'm looking for something. I know I got it somewhere. Just a simple BLX. I put a piece of equipment on it underneath a desk. It's just a modern um, audio amplifier, and that's to me is low grade garbage, but it works. You can use it for the um, radio. I know, so I got thinking about that today. I don't think there'll be any more deliveries. We'll see. Well, it's Saturday. Else can I talk about? Yeah, one, um, parapsychology, yes, I think it's very fascinating as well as regular psychology. And, um, a lot of the people I met over time that were into it, studying it, and testing it, mostly, uh, national laboratories. I wonder if Henry Strap's still alive. Hmm. There's a bunch of people that I used to deal with. I wonder if they're still around, you know. Close ones I do know passed on. And it's kind of terrifying, but... So, parapsychology, the Jack George. Places to look up on the internet for now. I'm trying to do a full story on it. Uh, Jack Houck. H-O-U-C-K. John Alexander. Dr. Elizabeth Ann Rauscher, Ken Shoulder, it was more into, didn't go there that much. Major Ed Dames, Project Star, Stargate, uh, now handled by CIA folks. Mm. Eric Geller, and oh, there's so many. Marcel Vogel. I gotta have a list to answer the questions for you. Neotic Science Team, who used to be at 2220 Sacramento Street. I'd meet them um, when I was staying with Henry Dakin, who owned the building there. I'd stay upstairs, sleep overnight, maybe a couple of nights, or sleep at his home with the inn. But he then moved to Will uh, to Ukiah, 24 miles away, with Ken Shoulders. He passed away, unfortunately. Look up um, Henry Dakin. His family was into making Dakin toys. Very nice gentleman. I wish somebody would publish Dr. Peter Kokoschnik's work. Am I the only one knows about this? I wish I still had some of his um, publications. But anyway, um, yes, I have my own type of parapsychological adventure. Um, I'm hyper aware. I've always have been. 
That's why I can't smoke cannabis or take even touch it. The broad key. Wow. I don't like the feeling, so I have to take a a Zonix to slow it down. And during the day, I take maybe roughly 24 hours, half of a 0 0.5 milligram tablet. That's the full of the day. And at night, I take roughly one and a half for sleeping. Or if I'm, yeah, I don't like the effects of it as well, but it's double-edged sword. Anxiety syndrome. Free floating anxiety and agoraphobia. White coat hypertension syndrome. There's other crazy things going on. Well. Hyper aware is it's good. When working with machinery, it's very good. When working with high voltage, it's extremely good. Because you're aware of everything like it's alive and don't touch this, don't do that. Uh, it's interesting during having sex how intense it can get. Wow! Makes your whiskers curl. That's why I enjoy it so much, I guess. Oh, did I say that? No, I didn't really say that. Of course I did. It's like I go in another dimension briefly when having you know what. Hmm. But I wouldn't change anything really. It's all good fun stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's a fascinating world being a psychoneurotic, anxiety and phobic react person. My official diagnosis, long ago, an agoraphobia. Um, but mind you, I mean I travel to Japan and Germany and Egypt, no problem. I like aircraft flying, it's so boring to ride in a vehicle, or even a train is boring, but aircraft is like Vancouver to LA, under two hours sometimes, you sit there and you just sort of doze off and look out the window, wow, then um, to, to Japan or Germany, it's 13, 13 hours and had to change aircraft in Korea, South Korea. It's kind of interesting, you know, it's daylight, you went through the night at daylight, you know, looking at this weird world and, uh, oh, time to get on board for Japan, Hiroshima City, and there I go. And my sponsor comes and picks me up. <coughs> Gets us one of the best hotels, he always did that. I slept very well. I always had my Xanax and vitamins mostly and not really any change of clothing. I just actually remember in a high rise hotel <laughs> washing my clothes in the sink, soap, water, wash, put it by the air conditioner. The next morning, I'll dry, get dressed, go off for a lecture tour. <laughs> I was with Dr. Brian O'Leary, and second time, and then first time, I was with Ian Gast, a filmmaker. <coughs> um, wow, I remember getting extra Xanax as well. But no problem. No, never any problems. Always a lot of fun. I remember in Germany, I stayed two years there or so at a medical doctor's home. Ian's sister, Dr. Margarita Kokoschnig, and wife of Peter Kokoschnig. Huh. 
Fascinating. So, traveling, no. I don't know. Problem. I don't like traveling by car that much. That's extremely boring and um, hours and hours. It's going a very short. Like, what, we're, San Francisco is what? How many hours away is it? Or LA is many hours away, but it, my aircraft are right there. Anyway. Should shut up and get back to work or what he's doing. Hmm. Turpity chirp. I hear the raven. Those little raven do talk to me. Got film again. When I get my new iPad running up and around, do more videos on them because this thing is. Gotta keep it plugged in or it goes off. Um, oh well, okay, so I should shut up and get back to my project. What's this down here? that from really okay that's for mm -hmm. mm. you know that's how you got a thing on it question, I don't know, but we'll see. I'm going to run this again. Nice and tight. It's a nice layer. <laughs> I'm going to spray some of this on it, you know? My favorite stuff. WD-40 everything. Or Vaseline. Not what I do. WD forty it. All electronic stuff. I soak it in WD-40. Uh, soaks in. I use a vacuum cleaner maybe if it's dirty. But most of the stuff I've been getting is not dirty. Just old. This is good for aluminium and steel and other pieces. Prevents oxidation. Good stuff. Time to get to the scrapyard. <coughs> I could do that. I could. So, in this presentation, I carried on from eBay to me talking a blue streak of whatever. But I just want to make a point and how long I've been boring everybody again. Hmm, long enough. <laughs> Okay, well, shut up. <laughs>